Hi friends, um, in part 34 of uh, this uh, Fadal video series, I uh, talk about me redoing all of the electronics of uh, my Fadal and I show how I designed a circuit, uh, printed circuit board um, in the Fusion 360. Well, I ordered uh, from JLCPCB these uh, uh, circuit boards and they just came in from the mail a few days ago and they look real good nice and sturdy um, and this is this here is the the motherboard and I also ordered the control panel uh, this one goes into the, the well the control panel where there's the MPG and all the buttons and knobs and the monitor so uh, this guy uh, is in there and the motherboard will be in the main uh, junction box and also I sourced all of the parts and um, but these aren't uh, soldered yet so uh, I'm going to use this uh, PCB as a rack for all the parts and I'm gonna pick them in there and solder them on the on, uh, on this board and same uh, for the the control panel here you can see all the the connectors for the different uh, buttons and knobs and uh, this here is the main uh, connector that um, connects it uh, connects to uh, the motherboard through uh, this uh, connector here I believe Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna solder this and I thought it might be fun to make a time-lapse uh, So I'll take you with me in my electronics lab and uh, We'll make a time-lapse of it. So uh, let's go Having an extra PCB as a tray for your parts is uh, very nice. It's super efficient You can do all the prep ahead. You have you know when you start soldering that uh, you have all the parts uh, in, and they're already, uh, you know, in the right position, uh, right orientation. So uh, there are less chance of making a mistake. And here is the final product. With all the components uh, soldered and everything connected, I made my own ribbon cables. Also, you can see on both sides the two uh, 16 relay uh, modules. Uh, so that's for a total of 32 modules, which is a little more than uh, what I need. This is for sure the most complex electronics project I've ever made. Um, I am very proud of it. But at the same time, I am scared shitless of connecting it. <laughs> I'm super scared that uh, the white smoke is going to uh, come out from the control. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll have to uh, commit eventually and hope for the best. I don't know. I give myself maybe a 50-50 chance of... Uh, of it being usable. Uh, I know there will be some bugs, but uh, hopefully it won't be uh, too bad. Um, you can see here all of the different uh, connectors. That main big connector on top uh, here uh, goes to the uh, control. You can see uh, me here um, soldering all the components on that uh, smaller PCB. Uh, so uh, this uh, PCB that goes in the control really is connected to the motherboard via one uh, large uh, cable. And uh, here is the final product. It has an ESP32 microprocessor on it um, that talks uh, over Modbus uh, to the motherboard. Uh, it's going to control the LEDs of, the, of some of the buttons and other stuff. Yeah, and these are all the connectors uh, you can see here uh, that will connect to all of the buttons and knobs. And that little control goes inside this. So that's coming along uh, pretty well as well. I had this uh, made uh, where I work, water jet cut. Uh, and um, 
there are a few still a few things missing like a few uh, buttons here for uh, scale select and axis select uh, a few knobs uh, that go on to these uh, little uh, encoders uh, but otherwise also uh, some uh, text for ID identifying the different buttons and knobs uh, but yeah otherwise uh, that's uh, that's coming along pretty well too um, so uh, that concludes uh, this video uh, thank you very much for uh, watching and i'll see you on the next one happy new year everyone bye <laughs>